everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. In this photo, you can see foam and drums. And what else do you see? You also see a small room. All right, so we, we have a lot of issues going on here, and let's take them one at a time and, and uh, walk through them, and then we can kind of see how uh, you can improve your situation from, from these uh, mistakes and setup and size. Drums are full range instruments. We know 40K to 12K easily with the China. So the bottom line here is we got a full frequency spectrum range that we have to manage. And we're putting it in a room that's not even conducive, maybe for voice. The room looks pretty small. So the bottom line here, kick drum 40 cycles, tom 80 cycles. And we don't have enough room for those two devices in the set to perform. So a lot of people use foam and they think that's the cure-all to a full frequency range situation, but it won't even, it's like holding up a feather to stop a tornado. When that low frequency kick drum energy goes into the room, foam is just going to collapse. It's going to almost scream and say, oh, we can't do anything here. We're going to go back to sleep. So it's a middle and high frequency absorption technology, not a low frequency absorption technology. So how do we address drums? Because people want a unique drum sound. Everybody wants their own drum sound. I get it. But you have to start with room size, volume, and usage first. And then treat. You know, we can't start with a small room and get big drum sounds. It just goes against the laws of physics. Maybe on Mars we can. They're, st they're talking about co uh, colonizing on Mars. Maybe the physics up there will be different and we can do stuff like that. But the bottom line here is small rooms, small sound. Larger rooms, bigger sound. Now there's breakpoints in there, sure, that we can look at. But just remember, foam is a middle and high frequency absorption. Now what could we do in this room to improve the situation? Diaphragmatic absorption, small room. We need as much horsepower as we get. And the thing about uh, some of our units, we put them on casters for you so you can move them around the source because you're not going to be able to have enough units in the room to make an impact in the total room sound. So you're going to have to near field monitor. So the beauty of a portable pressure reducing device like a di diaphragmatic absorber around a microphone is that you have the, the ability to position it. A lot of guys use our diaphragmatic absorbers on the kick and they'll position two of them close to the microphone and then move them back. And what does that do? That increases and decreases the amount of pressure reduction at the microphone head. So you get different tonal balances. So the beauty of that is you have a little bit more control over the tone at the microphone position. So foam, middle and high frequency absorbers, okay for the drums, but don't forget the low frequency absorbers too. Really important with full range instruments. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.